Sarah Beck is working on a sand mandala, a Buddhist-inspired piece of art that she's making over the course of 30 days. Like the Buddhist tradition, when it's done, she will destroy it. Her piece is of the $1,000 bill. This is something that could never be sold or purchased or even moved for that matter. That artwork is one of the centerpieces of the exhibit at the Flux Factory called Debt Positive. It's an artistic look at how people and the U.S. are being burdened by debt. The show will also include some upcoming performances. We were interested in creating an exhibition that really spurred dialogue about debt because it's often something people uh, feel guilty about or shame about and don't share openly. The curators are former residents of Flux Factory, a popular workspace and gallery for emerging artists in Long Island City. Flux came together in 1993 when a group of student artists began to show each other their work in a Williamsburg warehouse. And it just began as um, a place where friends were sharing space. Um, and, you know, initially it kind of started as parties. And then over the course of years and kind of different iterations of buildings, it gradually became formalized. And so it became a residency that's administered through an open call process. Today, Flux is in a four-story building in Long Island City with an international artist residency. We support uh, all different kinds of art practices, so everything from urban gardeners to painters. There are 16 studios that are built as affordable workspace for artists. 40 of them work here every year and they can participate in the group or solo exhibits. As for the current show, Debt Positive, well, that runs through June 24th. And like all the other events here, it is free to the public. In Queens, Rochelle Boone, New York One.